ताजा समाचार तमारी भाषा में मेलववा डाउनलॉड करो गुजराती मिड डे एप I mean, of course, Karishma being the first person from the Kapoor family to enter films—that's mm. a well-known fact. Um, it wasn't considered safe, or what? I think it was just that maybe the people, like I mean, the women who got married, I think, in the 60s, 70s, in the Kapoor family, who mm. never really worked in films. Maybe it was their choice, also. I don't know. Sure. But my father kind of really I mean he was very very he's very cosmopolitan he's So it wasn't a bone of contention between your mom and your dad that Karishma would be work in the movies. You know he was always like I mean I don't know I can't like obviously do anything she has to find her own mm. debut find her own way mm. and you know figure it out herself if that's what she wants. And she did exactly. And your that. mom said, "Okay, I'm going to figure yeah, it out." Exactly. Because she would have been what, 15, 16. So yeah, yeah. She started young, at a right? very young age, 15. Mm. And I think with me, it was a different generation. The 90s were completely so like it changed. The yeah. world changed. The world. There must be a reason. Cinema why. changed. Yeah, right? yeah. The film, the kind of films that were being made, mm. changed, right, in 2000. Yeah. I mean, 90s was a really crappy times, yeah. I don't know, <laughs> but but still, I mean, Lolo, some some of her films. Are, Pretty sure, iconic. Sure. Yeah, and the a whole lot of David Dhawan movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch them even now. You know the songs. Every party is still playing that. Yeah, that's true. That's true. No, but I'm just saying, in a larger sense, why is it that women cannot work back then? Because maybe it's not a great place for women to work. I mean, it can't be a coincidence, right? Yeah. That all the producers and the stars are sending their male kids. But not their female kids. Of course, everything changed uh, later in the mm. 90s. But clearly, something was going on. Something was up. I think the women in the Kapoor family chose not to work. Mm. That's what I feel. And then obviously it was kind of like they don't work. Mm. Mm. Or maybe at that time it was like I don't know. Somebody said don't do it, or I don't know. If you come from that background, maybe you, I don't know, won't be successful. Or I don't know. There were like a lot of things. A lot of people said like light-eyed actresses won't make it. Mm. So I don't know if that's true or not. Mm. But obviously look at Karishma. And so many others after that. I don't know, maybe why people were not working, but I feel like a lot of my mum-in-law worked throughout. She worked after her marriage as well, mm. after Seth was born as well, and she's been such an inspiration, such a tigress who completely led the way for, I think, all the actresses then. Mm. Everyone. She was a game changer of sorts in the 60s. Mm. So I guess it was also quite a personal decision, maybe, that our parents took or my mother took. So it wasn't a big deal when. Um Karishma Lolo, She's, is she really called Lolo because yeah. of uh, because of Lola Brigida? Yeah, Gina, Lola Brigida. Really? Yeah, that's, yeah. My that's mom how was she reading that. Yeah. Did you get your name from Anna Karenina? The book. I, book? That's what my mom tells me. But Bebo, I don't know from where that is. Okay, but did you read Anna Karenina because that's directly from? No, I haven't read it. Have you seen the size of the book? Yeah. <laughs> have you? I have it at home because you know who's reading it. <laughs> but, I mean, who probably has read it? But uh, I mean, no. Should do a series on it. I mean, uh, definitely. But I mean, that size of book, I think no. I'll bal se fedo jayenge. So you, you are the non-reader, and Seth is the big reader. I mean, I am. It's not about reader, but it's like I mean. Look at the size of the book. Yeah, and read. Talk. Yeah. But I, love, I, mean, I love, I love. You've written two, three books yourself. I love, I love Joe Nesbo. I love, I love, you know the yeah. detective crime kind of Scandi kind of writing. Pulp fiction. And, yeah, yeah, I love all of that. Yeah. yeah. But like Seth's different. He reads different kind of stories. He's an art history student, so he likes reading stuff about that. I mean, it's fine. But I think I just give the vibe and personality that I'm not a reader. Which is not true. I mean, which is not true because now I think like on a day off, sometimes I do pick up a book in the afternoon and I do like to spend my time reading. You also think when you give off a vibe that you do, which is like you know I'm poo and whatever, uh, when you actually appear in a film, uh, I distinctly remember I think it's 2004 when you did Dave. Yeah. And I was awestruck by you in that movie because I didn't expect it. Yeah. And when you have too strong a personality, that means just everything comes out and I'm a dude. It's very hard to get into another person's character. Do you yeah. think that could be the case? I think the way people perceive you mm. because of your characters, mm. like because of Pu or Geet, they think and believe that that you know that's her. Mm. But if you noticed, and I'm happy that you brought up Dave, because I have done films early on also in my career, mm. Dave, Chameli, Omkara, Yuva, which have been character driven, but they never really. Get that you because these larger than life characters because that's the way the audience also wants to right see you and enjoy you yeah you know yeah and they're like 
she looks and like even if Kambak Desh doesn't do well or if, I don't know what they did yeah. but more people have seen it than they've probably seen a day a day right right and because they enjoy seeing me mm. in those roles probably mm. or they perceive they, there's just this you know so I've constantly tried to break that but with doing these periodic films and choosing like Chameli very early on I was 22 when I did it I mean that's been a conscious effort Right. And also with the changing times in cinema, right? I yeah. Mean, those things were not happening in 1991. Or if they were, they were considered art house. They probably didn't even get a release. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I think when I did Chameli in 2000s, it was, I mean, yeah, and, I mean, nobody was doing, making that kind of a story mm. or a mainstream actor wasn't playing those parts. But do, would you walk into something like this thinking of it as a challenge or after all, you are an actor and you'll do the same way what you do in other films? How does it work? No, as in will I continue to or... Like will you just be who you were in the previous film? After all, it's just a character. And you, because you are an instinctive actor, right? Yeah, yeah. You're not someone who like prepares for months or like, or did you? No, no, not for months. And yeah. I think I'm, I'm a prepared actor, mm. but I'm not like overtly prepared. I like to leave something to set. I, li I like to leave something to the director, to my co-stars some sort of energy because it's a collective energy also that makes a scene and makes a film. Mm. So we have to leave that room. We can't come with like, a have to set kar diya hai. Will you prepare your lines and, and all yeah, those of things course. before? Right. No, no, of course. I think the best thing an actor can do is, le is learn his lines, like know his lines backwards. Mm. Because then you get room to play around other things. and concentrate on other emotions mm. rather than, okay, what's my next line? So I'm very conscious of that. Right. And it doesn't matter to you when you're doing those films whether those films will be box office successes or not. It's no, not I've never been that. Really? I mean, I've done films, of course. Okay, okay, You've done films okay. for the money, obviously you have. Yeah, of course. But I'm, I'm not like... I mean, it didn't matter to me whether Dave was going to become K3G. Yeah. Because they're different realms altogether mm -hmm. of cinema. But I've always been ready to you know, delve in that and, you know, experiment in that and do it. How important was money for you while you were growing up? I mean, actually, I don't really remember that whether it was important. It was a little bit to always, like, get nice clothes because mm. I wasn't working and my mom kept telling me that till you don't get yourself a job, you're not going to be, like, buying clothes all the time and doing what you want and prepare yourself if you want to be an actor. Take on the challenge when you become an actor, then you have your money. She's always told me that. Dave, stand on your own two feet. Mm. You cannot rely on your parents. Even when you're in your teens? Absolutely. Early teens. It was just the bare necessities, basics. And I mean, that's the way mom was. My mom came from a very humble background. My nana was a character actor. Right. Hari. Uh, Hari Shaddasani. Yeah. And my granny was, I mean, she was English. Mm. So she never really, you know, knew anything or... She came to India and got married and, you know, never really did a job so much. Like if she was traveling in India and she met your father? Yeah, I think so. I think she kind of like, or they kind of were on a tour and it kind of happened. Mm. Something, mm. I think, now back in the 40s. I don't, yeah. I don't really yeah. know. We're doing long throwback right now. It's yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can go back. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, that's the way it was. So, mum was very humble. Mm. And my mom always, I mean, till today she keeps us in check. She is the one thing that we're still like, okay, you know, she's, she can have that right to, you know, tell me still what to do and what not to. She's like, Not splurge or something? Yeah, she's always like. Be conservative. Yeah. With your money. Definitely. Subscribe to Gujarati Midday. Bell icon par click karine made wo tamam video na direct notification.